This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 20th day of March. I'm James Spann. Very warm weather continues, but slow changes coming up later in the week. Let's go to some of the Skycam shots, and why not? Start with our Gulf Shore Skycam this afternoon. A lot of folks down there on spring break. What a beautiful day. A cloudless sky, just gorgeous. Water temperatures around 70. Air temperatures are peaking in the low 70s down there. Up this way, that's the Trustville Sky Cam coming from Chalkville Mountain Road. Looks like a summer sky. And almost the same view there coming from Hamilton in Marion County in northwest Alabama. Ooh, look at that big upper low near Lubbock, Texas. Storms out ahead of that. Very warm over the east with a huge ridge. Here's our numbers at 2 o'clock. We've got readings in the mid-80s in most spots. Looks like the warm spots are Cullman, Tuscaloosa, Muscle Shoals, Montgomery at 86 right at record levels. Goodness. And around the nation, again, there's that huge thermal contrast. Denver in the 30s where they're shivering. We've got 80s up to Chicago, Indianapolis, Cincinnati. Goodness gracious. Uh, but again, we'll see numbers slowly coming down, but the really cool stuff stays out west. And obviously in the uh, zone where the air masses are, masses are clashing, we have flooding issues. Louisiana, Arkansas, even parts of southwest Mississippi under a flash flood watch. Uh, we got a tornado watch parts of Louisiana in a new box just issued uh, for much of central and eastern Arkansas. And that includes uh, Little Rock. That's the uh, Little Rock radar. You can see the tornado watch box uh, superimposed on that data as storms are starting to form in cellular fashion uh, over the eastern half of Arkansas. Some of those could try and rotate. But again, we don't expect any severe weather issues around here. This is the day one convective outlook, slight risk through parts of Louisiana and Arkansas. There's the uh, southern tornado watch that expires at 5 o'clock for parts of Louisiana. Day two, just a very small, slight risk for places like Macomb, Mississippi, Baton Rouge, and New Orleans. And on day three Thursday, just the 5% probabilities on the Gulf Coast, a uh, uh, formal risk has not been assigned. Rain for the next five days, valid through Sunday morning at 7 o'clock. Big numbers again over Arkansas, Louisiana, and all of a sudden the, the guys are trying to bring in the heavier rain into West Alabama. And that's up for debate. I, I don't know about that. Uh, you know, could we get 2.1 inches up at uh, Tuscaloosa? Uh, I'd say it's doubtful, but we'll see it. Not totally out of the question. We'll look at modeling. This is the 12Z GFS, valid at uh, 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. The upper low is um, over around Childress, Texas, and Wichita Falls. Down below that, the main band of showers and storms still west of here. Arkansas, Louisiana, western Mississippi. We stay warm with uh, 83 for the GFS. Sounds good. Thursday, uh, the main axis of the heavier rain still west of here, west Tennessee and Mississippi, but no doubt we could see a few showers on Thursday. And then Friday, the upper low weakens and drifts north, and, and we'll have the axis of moisture on top of us, and that should be the day with the best coverage of rain. Do we get two inches? I don't think so. Uh, I think that number seems a little too high, but uh, the bottom line is we'll have a pretty decent chance of a few showers and storms on Friday. Um, not a total washout, but wet at times. And then Saturday, as we start the weekend, the upper low, you can look at the thickness values and pick it out. It's around Louisville, north of here. Drier air begins to work in, but still there could be a few lingering showers. I don't think it rains a lot on Saturday. Highs, upper 70s. Uh, the GFS showing 79. Sounds about right. And then Sunday, dry air works in. Should be a bright, sunny day. Beautiful day with a high at 78. We'll start the day in the low 50s. Monday of next week, gorgeous. Again, a comfortable morning, pleasant afternoon. Highs in the upper 70s. And Tuesday looks good. Uh, we'll check the upper look, and you can see that ridging still hanging in here. So next week, we'll still see temperatures well above average. We'll check the end of the forecast on uh, April 5th. Hey, look at the trough. Could that be our late season cold snap we always look for in April? Might be. 540 line coming down toward Nashville. Snow in Chicago. Uh, keep in mind, they've been up in the 80s this week. But that's a huge difference, and again, that's a sign that you just, you know, you almost always expect a cold snap here in April. It's hard to go through a year without one. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren you cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio. 
or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.